Okay, question nine on this uh, mock paper. We've got um, a running track, so the area inside a running track, and we've got some dimensions here, and we want to then cover it in seed. So the first thing we need to do is we know that one sector does every does 250 meters squared. So we need to work out the area of this. So well, the first thing we need to know the area of a circle isn't given by pi multiplied by the radius squared. And we can see if we divide this end of the running track and we plonk it together with this end of the running track, both of these are going to make a circle and both of these are going to make a circle and in this case the radius is going to be 32 meters. If the diameter, the whole way across is 64, halfway across, or from the center to the outside, is going to be 32 meters. So the area of the circle is going to be pi, which we can use as 3.14, or you can use your pi button on your calculator, but you'll get a slightly different answer, multiplied by 32 squared. So grab our calculators. Um, 31.14 times 32 squared gives us a total of the area of the curved bit or the, the circle bit, the two semicircles, is 3,215.36 meters squared. Now that's the area of the circle. The total area is then well we've got to work out what the inside is so the rectangle here is going to be well the area of that is going to be 105 that's just my alarm going off uh, 105 multiplied by 64 so 105 multiplied by 64 that gives us 6720 meters squared for the rectangle so we now have to add those two together so plus three two one five point three six the total area is both bits to fit together which is nine thousand nine hundred and thirty five point three six meters squared however it asks us actually how many sacks of grass we need so we know the total area is this but we now need to work out how big the how many sacks we need. So one sack does 250 meters squared. So all we've got to do is take our answer and divide it by 250. So 9,935.36 meters squared divided by 250 for each sack it gives us an answer of 39. 0.74144. Now, using our common sense, we realise that therefore we need 40 sacks are needed. So we need, actually, we're going to have 39 sacks and most of the 40th sack, but we have to buy a whole sack in order to cover this last little bit. So we need 40 sacks needed overall. Okay, so we'll go back over and check you understand how I broke this shape up into a uh, one circle and one rectangle calculated as this uh, and then um, yeah see how you get on